everyone. I'm Craig Johnson. Welcome to Heartland Acres Exhibition Center here on the American Rancher. Heartland Acres Agribition Center in Independence, Iowa is an interactive salute to agriculture. Its nearly 60,000 square foot celebrates the heritage and future of America's most wholesome lifestyle with exhibits spanning some 150 years. At Heartland Acres uh, you can find a lot of stuff to do. The kids can come in, there's uh, hands-on activities for the whole family. Uh, something of interest for everyone, you'll find antique cars, a great collection of antique tractors, and on occasion we have special displays, uh, we announce those uh, as they come available to us. Heartland Acres is committed to the introduction and enhancement of visitors' knowledge of agricultural related initiatives from the past, present, and future. Antique tractors and farm implements to modern equipment show the path that farming has taken to make production agriculture easier and more economical. One of our main exhibits that we have upstairs that you will see in the background is a wooden windmill back from the 1870s. This is a Lindsay Woolsey on display uh, from the 1850s. In the early years, this is what they would have used to harvest ice. This one is an ice score that the horse would have drawn across the river after it was frozen, and then they would have cut blocks of ice. And here's the bathtub. What does agribition stand for? Simply put, this term is a combination of the major aspects of the center. In the whole scope of things, the project focuses on the exhibition of agricultural developments from the past, present, and future of farming in America. Located in northeast Iowa and sitting on over 16 acres, Heartland Acres is a premier location to teach visitors the importance of agriculture and the overall impact it has on everyone, even you. It's a great place to bring your kids to uh, see all the animals and get around and actually uh, get close to the tractors and uh, go back and uh, look at some of the older farm equipment and machinery. It's great for the kids, it's great for the parents. Your family, young and old, can truly enjoy a trip to your agricultural roots when stopping at Heartland Acres. The exhibits are constantly changing as collectors from throughout the country seek a venue to showcase their unique tractors, farm implements, and vintage autos. On average, there are over two dozen tractors on campus, as well as many horse-drawn implements. The vintage auto collection ranges from a horseless carriage from the early 1900s to the classic icons from each decade thereafter that highlight days gone by. The Hall of Time identifies the beginning of the settler's trek into the Midwest and features both artifacts and a background of our agricultural history through the last 150 years. Traveling exhibits featuring the latest in new technology are brought to the Heartland campus as another role in providing agricultural education. Situated next to the native prairie is an original one-room schoolhouse from the 1860s. Imagine the teacher ringing the school bell and the children making it to class just after morning chores. Heartland Acres Agribition Center features an ever-changing array of activities that demonstrate to the many visitors, especially children, America's agricultural heritage and where their food comes from. There are over 25 hands-on exhibits to interact with, from milking the cow, feeding the farm animals, to shelling and grinding corn. It is truly inspirational to hear grandparents sharing their stories about life on the farm with their children and grandchildren. Making a return engagement from mid-September through December 31st, the world's largest tractor, Big Bud, will be on exhibit at Heartland Acres. It's a tremendous sight.
This tractor is 14 feet tall, 20 feet 10 inches wide, and 28 and a half feet long. There were more than 500 big buds produced between 1969 and 1991 in Haver, Montana. This, the 16V747, is the largest that they produced. The fully ballasted tractor, tires, and 1,000 gallons of diesel fuel is 135,000 pounds. With the tires off of it and, and the diesel drained out of it, we were able to ship it here at 95,000 pounds. There was only one 16V747 produced. What's, what's been our favorite part, part guys? Um, big big buds. Buds. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bud's been the favorite part. Visitors to Heartland Acres are in a hub of fantastic agritourism opportunities, including the Wasapinicon Mill, a five-story grist mill, and the Independence Depot, a train and rail museum, both in Independence. One of Iowa's largest Old Order Amish settlements, which features over 35 shops, is just a few miles north of town. And Cedar Rock, a Frank Lloyd Wright home, just a few miles south of town. In Waterloo, a short drive west, you'll find tours of John Deere's largest row crop tractor facility. And to the east, the National Farm Toy Museum with extensive displays depicting the progress of American agriculture and history of farm toy manufacturing. Field of Dreams movie set and the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium are just a quick day trip away. The National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium at Dubuque is a fantastic stop where visitors discover the history, culture, artifacts, and people of the water-rich interior of the United States. Heartland Acres is an accredited partner site of Silos and Smokestacks National Heritage Area, a program affiliated with the National Park Service. Your family, young and old, can truly enjoy a trip to your agricultural roots when stopping at Heartland Acres Agribition Center. It's open seven days a week and is located on Highway 20 between I-35 and Dubuque, just 40 minutes north of Cedar Rapids and 20 minutes east of Waterloo. For more information, log on to heartlandacresusa.com.